Hi, yo, fellow action figure collectors and Iron Man fans. This is my toy review of Iron Man 2 movie series, Ivan Whiplash Backup. So the packaging is the same in all Iron Man 2 products except the big ones. On this line, all the toys in this line have the same packaging. So, it says here, Postable Whips. His name Ivan Whiplash Vanko, three armor cards and figure stand included. At the back, it says again Postable Whips, other toys in the line, and it says here Ivan Whiplash Vanko. Mad genius Ivan Vanko has a long standing grudge against Tony Stark. As a result, he is determined to destroy Iron Man. Trademark. To that end, he built his own powerful weapon system using stone and Stark technology to launch an overwhelming assault of the armored hero. So now I'll open up the packaging and get the figure itself inside. We'll see what it looks like. So stay tuned. So here we got the figure. And I have, I have good views about this action figure. Because... Hasbro did a good job on the articulation of the paint and the tattoos are visibly there Although some are smudged, but their efforts are well done um, Cause The effort to do these tattoos looks really hard to do even the art chest light there Yes has good paint And Look at the back, you could see the whips going from here and then, just like a backpack or something. Okay, so for articulation, he's getting go all the way around, I think, or just left and right. And his arms can go in and out, rotate, bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow. Rotate at the wrists and rotate at the abdomen, but you gotta be careful because it has these rubber wires connected to these. Even this, I think, is rubber. So when you move it, it's like like that. So don't move it too much, for it might break or snap off and his legs can go in and out forward and back if you turn the joint here which is the unique Hasbro joint used on me I think mainly on Iron Man figures I think and what's good here is that this side it's asymmetrical this side is like a whole piece and this side has a, a rip look because of this part and yeah, and the knees bend at two points, and his it his feet can swivel. It, yeah. For detailing, like I said, it has good paint. Even the clothes have this rip look. Although I suppose this might this is supposed to be orange, but still it looks okay. And the back. As I said earlier. Now for the postable whips. These whips are long but aren't like the hot toys. You know because this is a Hasbro figure. You gotta be careful in this part because it's also rubbery. So it can just... Like it says in the box it is postable so you can bend it any way you like. And the... Whips are removable from the hands, unlike in the movie, which is connected to this tube right here, which is molded in the arm. But still, really neat figure. And like most Iron Man 2 figures, these come with the three cards. Two transparent, one not, which when you align properly, will show like this picture of the figure. Now to compare to the other figures, 
the Mark 6 and the Mark 5. So, Whiplash is a little shorter to the two figures, but still really good. Um, you can play with these two, like the scene when they were on the Monaco track, and Iron Man uses the Mark V armor for the first time, shown in the movie. So, thanks for watching my review. Stay tuned for more reviews and videos from E. Sanchez Vids. Please rate, subscribe, and like. Thank you.